you want to sit yeah. down? I can sit down. Yeah, yeah there's no reason to stand if you don't want. All right, so you're going to have you looking in the lens here. Well, I think when I hear the buzzword supply chain, my heart rate goes up, as well as most of us in the industry. We're all dealing with the same allocations, shortages, delays. When you say supply chain, it, it, it's one big envelope. As long as demand continues as strong as it is, it's gonna be very difficult for a supply chain to catch up. Um, but with that, I mean, and we've mentioned in, in many conversations, either with our customers or in the industry, that we've seen about a 10-year growth within the past two years. It's going to be months, several months, before we're able to really start to fill that pipeline again and have that healthy inventory so that we can get our lead times back down. So the demand for labels jumped in a hockey stick mode when the pandemic began and has stayed there since. So for perspective on that little back math that I did, just in North America to this industry, I estimate that what has not been made and not delivered in the U.S. so far this year is the equivalent of nearly 8,000 truckloads of paper. The supply chain, to no one's real surprise, um, has been probably, and I hate to use the word unprecedented because it's been overused over the last two years, but it truly is, and I've been here for 40 years, unprecedented. And it's been one hit after another. Um, I think culminating um, with the paper strike in Finland, um, that was just one more event that just you know kind of shocked um, a very fragile supply chain. Prices are going up, uh, the cost of labor, the cost of materials, um, everybody needs to be prepared uh, that that inflation number that you see out there uh, is real. It, it, everybody just needs to be patient uh, and, and do the best they can to order ahead of time, forecast and their own needs and uh, be smart about your purchasing. This is the new normal, no. <laughs> um, I don't think we know when it's going to stop. Until we get some stability in the marketplace, we really need to put in those key aspects of resiliency, sustainability, and transparency into our process to be able to enable us to be more successful in the future with our company. We're all just being hit with so many different fronts, and uh, at some point uh, you uh, realize you, there's only so much you can do. You may be seeing when you come into our plant is a lot of material. Uh, it's all spoken for. I'm not hoarding it. I wish I could. I wish I had that luxury, but I don't. And uh, it's all as fast as it comes in. That's as fast as it pretty much it goes out. I would say in, in my 30-year career with Avery Dennison, I've never thought that for two plus years we wouldn't be able to take on new business. There'll be a time when our pipelines are healthy again. As we continue to use our mitigation activities, we'll be able to grow the business again. A lot of times people say, when are we going to be back to normal? We won't. We're going to create a new normal. And there's a lot of great things that we've learned through the last couple of years. There's best practices that we've put in place that will help us in the long term. And we'll continue to build upon those. And I think overall this supply will come out of this with a new new that's much stronger than what we had coming into all of these challenges we've had the last few years. This whole uh, pandemic has caused us to refocus on best practices. That gives us a particular advantage whenever we're um, facing challenges like this and uh, need to consider some material substitutions. So I, I, think, I think the challenge for every converter and, and suppliers alike is, is to stay focused on your best practices. So my philosophy in and outside the company is all around transparency. 
So I believe that it's critical we're transparent with our employees, with our vendors, with our suppliers, with our customers, because that's what's gonna make us all successful in the future, and that's gonna drive growth for all of us in the years to come and make sure that we are successful. Otherwise, we don't know what we don't know, and, that, and that's not the way we wanna go. If we think that we should be in a digital printing business, if, if you are a conventional printer and if you're thinking digital, we should be on a digital printing, you are already late. The first thing is digital printing allow you to print only what you need. So that means it's help you minimize the inventory and extra waste that you generate for conventional printing. So during when you have a supply chain crisis, digital printing becoming more choice of the printing than conventional printing. With some of the supply chain shortages in materials, we've had to take a look at running traditional flexo and the waste factor involved there and moving it to digital. What that provides is less waste, which would equal more yield at the end of the day running it on the digital press. Digital print allows for much more efficient use of material. The jobs can be loaded quicker, you don't have to worry about registration, uh, color matching happens very quickly, so you can use limited material to maximize the, the label output. When you have upwards of 80% savings on a digital asset versus flexo production, and there's allocations currently in place, you quickly realize how important it is to minimize the waste. You compound those savings over the course of a single day across multiple jobs, multiple SKUs, take that over the course of a week, a month, a year, and you quickly realize how you can have a higher yield output when there's limited material you know, coming into the industry. If you're running on a digital press, you generally do have lower waste and more net yield from the product that's shipped there, and, and every converter press room in the world right now is looking for ways to take waste out of the system. So if you can step up your yield every one or two percent, that's more good labels that you can make when there really isn't much more coming from your supply base. Digital technologies have come a long way over the last couple years. So what I would say to converters who are thinking about getting into digital, there's no time like the present. During this supply chain crisis, label converters have realized the importance of digital printing. Not only is it helping them reduce material waste and get jobs out the door quicker, but it's helping them open up new markets and remain profitable during this difficult time. There's no question that uh, we see waste savings when we run jobs on our digital press. We use our traditional processes to evaluate when jobs should be printed flexo um, versus digital. And, and so as, uh, as materials skew more expensive, um, there is an advantage for digital. I think the other thing to, to keep in mind is if you're, if you're, especially if you're not in the digital space yet, um, now is the perfect time to be looking at that. It would have been very difficult for us to solve a lot of our customers' orders problems um, if we didn't have digital. There's some bright spots coming out of this where we open up our customers' minds to looking at, you know, just because it's not broken doesn't mean it shouldn't be fixed. Um, so uh, instead of just going back to the same old, same old in terms of materials that we've always been using, let's open up our, our minds to seeing what potentials are out there um, for performance and for sustainability. So with uh, having digital printing, uh, it's led to a lot of discoveries. Obviously we've had it, digital printing for a while, but. Uh, we keep finding things, uh, more things that uh, we can do with it that uh, are, are very helpful and uh, helping us to uh, keep customers happy. I would say that if you haven't looked at digital, you're missing a great option to be able to do smaller run sizes and be able to pivot. If you haven't looked at digital, you're missing a big gap in the bandwidth that is going forward in the future.
Hybrid printing is another aspect that brings even further savings and efficiencies to the label production process. Being able to gang like work together and fully finish labels in line can allow converters to realize even more savings. And hybrid presses are becoming more intelligent, more automated, and more integrated to help push these boundaries even further. Anyone that's making investments in the digital now, that's tightening up efficiencies in their operation, and is thinking outside the box on ways to deal with these challenges is gonna be set up really well for the future. Lessons learned from label converters during this supply chain crisis are the importance of digital printing, having the ability to adapt and pivot on the fly, taking work that has historically been run flexo, migrating it to digital, has allowed them to maintain and grow their business. I think you kind of look at every strategy uh, that you can, everything's on the table at that point. So there were a number of jobs that we had previously run on flexo that uh, just made sense to convert over to digital and uh, hopefully uh, when we get through this we'll be, we'll be stronger for that. I think for label manufacturers, anytime you can use less material to start your presses up, where you're reducing the amount of waste at the end of a core, the more labels you can get per roll, the better. The less raw materials that are going into the trash or to the landfill or to the recycler, we want to make every ounce of that material a good label product. Our friends at Domino have been great partners for us. There's a very important place in the market for digital solutions. And we're thrilled uh, to have made the decision to um, launch digital. We're well positioned to, uh, to continue to grow uh, as supply chain uh, issues fade. Pendulum always swings, and, uh, and we're looking forward to when it swings back to uh, being much better uh, supply chain uh, news, and, uh, and, th and that's gonna happen. I was at a seminar a couple weeks back or a month back, and I wanna steal a line that I heard from one of the panelists, and he said, we're all in this storm together, we're just in different boats. And one hour your boat might be right and, and sailing normally, and the next hour your boat's upside down, but again, uh, we'll get out of the storm, the storm will pass. And I thought that was, that was uh, an interesting way to look at it, and I've shared that with multiple team members here at Viking. Uh, the storm will pass, we will get through it, and at the end of the day, we will all be better, our industry will be better.